It's time for the Giz Wiz with Mads Mattis writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 2001, recorded Thursday, August 15th, 2024. A Skagit Odyssey. On this episode of the Giz Wiz, Dick D. has a gadget to make use of very small spaces, uh, plus a backpack with a built in in lunch place. Also, I have another time-related gadget that you need to watch. All next on The Giz Wiz! It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Giz Wiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs growing blue and yellow. Get ready for the Giz Wiz now. now. Now, and here is our double millennial heir, uh, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? What do you call I'm doing a, good. A thousand episodes. What do you call that? I don't know. Mill um, a millennium is a thousand years. A lot years. of work. A lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work. How you doing, Dickie D? How's it, uh, how's it been I'm treating good. you I'm good. last uh, week? Things are good here. Um, gosh, nothing... Totally thrilling happening here. How, yeah, and you? Same. same. Uh, honestly, ever <laughs> since the uh, 2000th episode last week, I have... Yes, uh, although this is 2001. This is 2001, which I remember in the year 2000 and the year 2001, everyone was saying the new millennium is actually the year 2001, not 2000. Do you remember this oh. debate? Okay. And that means that because once we do 2001, now we're actually in the 2000th episode because we didn't start with episode zero. Oh. Wow. That yeah. makes me think. Who we cares? actually should probably just redo yesterday, last week's episode, <laughs> actually. Now we've actually oh. completed two. This will be the 2000th episode. Oh. Um. There is no zero year, says Dan. Yeah, exactly. There was no zero year. Yeah, 2001, A Space Odyssey? Wait, no, no, that's a completely different uh, yeah. situation. Yeah, no, that not a amazing. lot yeah. uh, has been going on with me since, uh, since last week. Yeah, just, uh, just chilling. Um, sounds yeah. like same thing for you, not a... Uh, yeah, exactly. You know what? You don't still have that... Email from like two weeks ago about the trademark. The trademark. Yeah, uh, I, I can explain it. Do okay. remember? So it. let me see if uh, I. Can I got an email that CES is going to redesign. It's funny. I just had it here earlier. Oh. Uh, uh, mm. oh. CES is going to have a new logo reimagined. And it will be introduced on August 28th. Oh my gosh. Next, yeah. uh, well, we got, we got some time. Yeah, two-ish two yeah, yeah. weeks. Oh yeah, two, two weeks. Away. Yeah. So it always reminded me of, it was called NBC's Million Dollar Mistake. And I don't even know if you remember this. NBC wanted to have a new logo. So they hired this top-rated logo company i guess design firm and they came out with the letter n for nbc and there was a big hoopla about it and then a little station i got west said oh you mean n like we've been using on our stationery for the past five years <laughs> And it was identical to the NBC logo where they had dropped a million dollars. <laughs> so the little station, I believe, is going to sue NBC. So NBC said, oh, you just need new cameras. You need new transmit. You need, uh, they evidently sent them <laughs> hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment. That's but pretty funny. Thought, Please don't sue us. What we'll do instead is bankroll your studio. Yes, exactly. With some of our leftover equipment. That sounds yeah, good that, to ex us. Ex exactly right. Exactly right. 
So be careful when you don't spend more than a hundred dollars on your new logo. Because there's a, a good chance someone has done something very similar. That's very funny. That's very funny. Yeah, I remember that there was um there was the same type of thing for uh, the PepsiCo logo. In fact, it kind of became this online joke. Um, and I don't even know if this is true or not. When I search on Google, so this is, we're just, I'm just going to take you along this journey and it, people at okay, home okay. can use their own judgment here. When I search Pepsi logo PDF, okay, this is the thing that pops up. This is my memory. My The story is that they spent a ton of money on the from switching from the old Pepsi logo to the new Pepsi logo. And, you know, it just goes into the most extreme detail about what a logo could be, why a logo is good, and it just starts getting kind of out there and be, and like maybe like, <laughs> What, what do we really think of everything and it's all connected and, and the theory of oneness and <laughs> magnetism, you know, that should definitely be in a nice logo. I mean, it just gets a little weird uh, in terms of everything. Um, yeah, and that's kind of what comes to mind. <laughs> What you're talking about? Uh, yeah, gonna... A company can spend a million dollars on a logo, even? That's possible? Well, looking through something like this, you can see what needs <laughs> what needs to be part of the package for you yeah. to really feel like you got a million dollars worth. Uh, really. How fast is your email work? Because I resent you oh, that. Oh, yeah. Well, let me see. Let me, let me check it out. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I just logo designs, and also, I mean, uh, being kind of on the other side of things, I've been uh, amongst friends who uh, have spent money on corporate image packages, you know, where they go to a different company and they say, make this look good, you know, make my, uh, you know, you uh, go find an, another um, what company. We, to... What do you do when I had someone who loved things I do and... They said, you know what? We're going to design a free logo for you. Oh. Well, the logo was my name and address in columns. Oh, and interesting. And I could not figure how anybody could possibly know who it was and what my address was. <laughs> and when I thought, said, I don't think I could use this, they were really put out. Oh no! Yeah. But your logo had your address in it. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Well, was, well, I guess they wanted I could use it as a letterhead. And, oh, and I see. A, you know, a label. I see. But a letterhead and a label, it should be able to figure out what your address is. Yes, I agree. Oh uh, yeah, that to me sounds like someone who was really into the idea and uh, probably. If you would have met in person, would have just been as socially awkward as they appeared to be <laughs> over email. Honestly, I have, I have, uh, there's, no, <laughs> that's just how it is, you know, sometimes. Um, that's, that's very funny. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here it is. Uh, I, my computer, for some reason, decided to absolutely freak out, but we have the article. Um, so here, the one of NBC's greatest blunders oh my gosh this is a billion dollar mistake not even a million dollars no no that is wow wait there's an extra zero in here this is throwing me off I think... <laughs> is this oh, a, oh yeah is this a 10 is. million yes, dollar yeah, mistake yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes <laughs> um i think down below they show the two logos oh, oh there you my go. gosh there's the newly designed million dollar 1975 nbc logo and there's Nebraska ET Network's logo. <laughs> yeah. I would say if there is a difference, it's it's a difference of an angle. And I mean like 1% of it. You know, I mean like yes. out of 90 and, and degrees of an angle, like yeah. one degree. Like by a yeah. degree. Yes, yes. That so, is so funny. Yeah. Yeah, and the color, obviously. 
And um, the color. Yeah, because NBC was using uh, red and blue. Yeah. But, I think if anyone would have seen that, that's a clear case of uh, what they call market confusion. <laughs> you would, oh, think, I, yeah, I you, would think so. <laughs> if you had been watching the M Nebraska uh, ETV network, and then all of a sudden, NBC starts sharing this logo. You'd be thinking, when yeah. did Nebraska ETV buy NBC? That's what I'd yes. want to know because that's the exact same logo. I think I'd be be looking at that. That's pretty funny. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, they definitely had to settle on that one or just yeah. not use <laughs> the yeah. logo. Yeah, that's funny. And I, actually, I'm sure the company was thrilled having tons mm. of equipment come in there. Yeah, right? exactly. Honestly, yeah, I think yes. like Murray in the back office came up with it one afternoon. Said, <laughs> hey, look, at, how about this? <laughs> exactly. I mean, yeah. that look, the that logo honestly is so simple. It was probably like some middle schoolers, you know, hey, dad, I'll make the logo for your Nebraska TV channel. <laughs> and then they did. And then wham, bam, you have copyright infringement a few years later. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's really funny. Uh, okay, so let's jump okay. into some gadgets. Let's jump in. Uh, here we go with gadget one. It's kind of interesting. I have a gadget um, you might find useful, okay? It is a, oh, I'll show it to you, okay? It is a slim rolling storage cart oh. from Simple Houseware. And the object here is a rolling cart that is really thin, okay? They make two versions. A 5.5 inch version. Oh. And they make it. The very one I bought was the 7.7 yeah, yeah. uh, inch wide version. And I don't have a need for it right now, but many times I thought, boy, if someone made a cabinet that just slipped into that little space. Absolutely. In the laundry room between the washer and the wall, there's a tiny bit of space. Um, it's under 20 bucks. And I think it got 4.3 stars out of like 3,500 people. So I thought, well, let's just buy one and see what it's like. I originally ordered the 5.5 inch one, and then I got out a ruler and I thought, well, you could probably put a Tootsie Roll on the, one of those shelves, it'd be so tiny. So I got the slightly bigger one, and it's just the width, actually this is, Bigger than I would have thought. Okay. All right. It's too wide. It, 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 it is wide. When, when, <laughs> when that box fell, I thought they should have had a seven inch one because so this see. is. Uh, uh, and it's vented, so if you put wet things on, it'll so have a chance to dry out. Pretty simple. All right, we'll do a couple and then we'll stop and I'll do the rest and we'll come back. Okay, it's a rolling car. Uh, has a handle. Let's see, is this, oh, okay, so this, right now, this can be the top shelf. Do you ever do this, if it doesn't fit at one end, you try Possibly. the other end? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, just try the other side. Because you never know. <laughs> you never, you know, too much yes. Ikea furniture, that's the, the, the answer. That one went in. And it, and it was the answer here. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, exactly. The, the, hole, the, the holes are better really at that really end. Uh, all right, so I get, uh, you know, I don't know what holes the shelves. I like that those are metal Except rods instead of yes, plastic. the metal rods. Right, but the yeah. thing is, see if you can guess what that and red thing is. The hood, There's right? only one of them. That had me baffled. Seems like a security well, feature because it's red. I don't know how. So I don't know push. what. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know what but it could I know be. Now, I know now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the, the instructions say build it upside down is easier. Just so you know which way you're pointing. You know, you put the red. It, what? Do <laughs> I don't know. Is this yeah, the emergency, the emergency button? Yeah. Captain J? Four. Your nose? Go ahead. Your nose. Oh, your oh, nose. My nose. <laughs> <Okay>. <clears throat> A tool, says Becky. 
Was it like a, supposed to be like a thimble? Like you're, it was like a, yeah, like a, like, I guess like a tool. Was it supposed to be used in the creation of it? All the way down. Oh, I guess this one did too. In a way. Uh, yeah, the, the. <laughs> this is tiny. Uh, uh, uh. It's cute. Cigars. Yeah. Cigarettes. <laughs> you know, if you want to, if you were serving dinner, you could put stuff on it, bring it to the table. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I found the place Sweet. for the thin shelf, and after seeing last week's show and how neat Chad's studio is, <laughs> I thought, I'm going to use my thin sliding trays to organize everything in my living room, okay? So first of all, it fits between the uh, filing cabinets and my TV. Oh, yeah, I don't that's open great. This door, ever. And then, ta da 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 so now, everything is organized by stuff <laughs> and more stuff. Yeah. It's, that and is now stuff the random stuff bin. On the other two shelves. <laughs> yes. I have one of those. So it's really easy to find anything I need. Thanks, Chad, for the tip. <laughs> that is great. Uh, I love that. I love that. It's yeah, uh, yeah. The, yeah the, either the version one is like sixteen dollars and one is like eighteen dollars. And yeah, and in the, another it? place that I have seen a great uh, spot for those thin shelves in the bathroom. Sometimes um, the cabinet, you know, just ends with just enough space to put something else in there. Uh, and something this thin is perfect for a lot of the stuff that you find in the bathroom. So. Uh, love that. Yeah, this is inexpensive, highly reviewed. Oh, yeah, highly reviewed. More than 4,000 people. Oh, and they even show it in the bathroom. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. That's great. And so here's the oh, slimmest. Oh, yes. It also <clears throat> said you can take the wheels off and use it under the sink. Yeah, there you go. There's yeah. a perfect use. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Thing, yeah. Now, do you feel I, like the metal, could you put this into a shower? Because I know the top is like plastic, but with the wheels and stuff, it probably couldn't live in a, a wet. Well, you could take wet. the wheels off. Right. And, and the shelves have holes in them. That metal might get corroded over time. Yeah, probably. But, I'm sure uh, for under $20, it's not, it's right. not top grade metal. Right. Uh, right. Anyway, it turns out I finally found on the instruction sheet that red cap. Oh, it comes in colors. Yeah. I didn't even realize. Oh, my gosh. That, out. that yeah. is great. Let me see. Does the standard, the standard comes in only two colors. It comes in okay. black and white. And so if you want the other, you have to switch to the slim. The, the, the tiny thin one? Yeah. 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 The thin one is $17. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh well, that's interesting. You can use one as just a tray. tray. Yeah. yeah. It's very versatile. And that little red cap. Oh, yeah. What was that for? When you drive the rods in, you can put that on. Oh. So when you pound the rod in, you won't bend it or ding it. I see. I so, see. So that was very, yeah, that was very clever. No, yeah. I'm very happy with it. Yeah. I like that. I like that. And... Scooter X hasn't even found it for five dollars yet. So wow, that's he a hasn't. really good <laughs> thing. Yeah, um, I'm sure that Alibaba and Wish and all those are full. Uh, I'm sh full of little shelves. Um, so, uh, Stuff. yeah, exactly. Very good. Awesome. A, little, Any, a yeah. thin, a thin a little thin. organization. Yeah, <clears throat> and I think a perfect use for it. Um, okay, uh, on to the backpack. It's August, which brings up back to school back stuff. Back to school. Okay, so I found an interesting backpack from a company called Vic Rod. Okay, this is it. And I actually did this for ABC, and I started putting stuff in it, and it looked like nothing. And I thought, I'm just going to make a little video using stills from the company which I did, uh, and I'll show it here because you get a better look at what it looks like in use. 
And ABC, the everything is 30 has seconds. room for a laptop up to <laughs> 17 inches, carry it in its own padded compartment. But I love the insulated cooler lunch compartment, which is totally separated from the rest of the backpack. It has three separate layers, and you can use this to keep your lunch either warm or fresh or cold. And it also features an internal cable so you can put your phone charger inside but charge your phone outside with the backpack closed. So in that little video, uh, you don't really get to see the backpack. So it's pretty big, okay? Uh, I put it on my scale. It's a little bit under two pounds. It's really nicely made. The only thing I can't figure out is this hook. So they... Call yeah. this the anti theft pocket, and it's an anti anti theft pocket because it's up against your back. And in theory, it's going to be hard for someone to open that zipper while you're wearing the backpack. It also has a luggage strap, which is great. I love that. You those. have a rolling cart, yep. you can just slide the handle through here, and it will sit on top of your luggage. Okay, in the front. Little compartment do you want, okay. I think it's really nicely made. And then the next compartment has lots of stuff in it. Four pens, papers, okay, a little web pocket, two separate pockets up here, a deep pocket here. This is a place to hang your keys, a little button if you want to take your keys out, but leave them leave it on this. And then the big compartment, they say up to a 17.3 inch laptop, okay? And this is a padded compartment. And there's actually room here too if you also have a computer and a tablet. Then the one side was what you saw in the, uh, in the video. And people really liked, people that be over at ABC thought, oh, what, this is a great idea, okay? This is a compartment for your food. Okay? Yeah. That is through, got a ton of room. Okay. And as you saw in the video, you can use it for warm food, cold food, fresh fruit. And then opposite that compartment is a water bottle placed for Hold your that. air <laughs> up. Okay. The $50 bottle. All right. Yes. Oh, my here. gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. This is a big bottle. Oh, okay, it fits. And then inside, I'll have to show it to you because we've seen this on other backpacks. Um, there's a pocket in here for your external battery charger, a cable inside. Hook it up to the external battery charger, and that way you can charge your phone without taking your backpack off or opening it up. Price-wise, I thought it was really decent, okay? I paid 35 bucks. Yeah, it's very decent. And there it is, and it was 122 ratings, 4.6 stars. That's pretty decent. I never heard of the name before, Dick Rod. But if you're looking for a backpack, I think this will work well for you. I don't have to go back to school. It's been like five years since I've been out. <laughs> you got, you'd always uh do you have a degree you always get your degree you know oh yeah i'm printing it <laughs> i printed it last night <laughs> i really also love the storage compartment of this backpack specifically i've been um i have you know plenty of backpacks but whenever i want to take one um with food in it to a spot i'm running into the issue which has happened especially with disney um where yeah if i put something cold in it it either, while wearing it, <laughs> it's, just, it's cold on my back as I'm yes. bringing it around, uh, or in the 98 degree heat of Florida, uh, the food will uh, get warm uh, in the temperature. Um, and so I th think this is fantastic, actually. Yeah. And I've also, you're always w worried it's going to leak yeah. and get your books wet or exactly. your laptop. Yeah. This exactly. Like, yeah. You put something cold in there and the condensation could easily yeah. get to any of the other um, electronic components that you have in your backpack, of course. Yeah, I agree with uh, 
the people at ABC and you that uh, I really like the food compartment aspect of it. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Me too. Yeah, that little hook is interesting. <clears throat> what do you, you know, because you're not, where your keys, they're on your back, we're facing away from you. I'm the only thing sure I can think of is like backpack charms. Like, have you seen those little, they sell them a lot for kids, is basically tiny little plush oh. toys on oh. a big loop keychain. Um, you know what? I bet you're right. Because, like, at the toy show, tons of yeah. companies are selling, yes. And so they're they're not right. really these type of, like, uh, these are more keychains. They're more of, like, this yeah. stitch, where it's a big character. Uh, maybe charms isn't the right oh, yeah. um, thing, but, uh, oh yeah, like the one I made years ago. Look at this. We got Sassy Jeffrey. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Might be like 10 years old, but yeah, no, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This thing with this big old loop, um, and little backpacks, uh, that is kind of the only thing I could think of that would go on that hook. Um. Yeah, he lives. He lives just right there. Stephen Toronto said, "I have a red light on the back of my backpack." Okay, that might be cool. In fact, one of the things that I was daydreaming about as I was watching your review was I was looking at this uh, the USB A port that is the the pass through on this backpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just thinking, they A will A USB A uh, will need to update that to C yes, USB C. Absolutely. Absolutely. Soon. I was just thinking yeah. they need to start updating those because some things, you know, a lot of my devices don't even come with USB A in the box anymore, right? They're coming shipped with USB C uh, with whatever cables uh, attached to them. Um, and that exact uh, idea of if you're in the middle of already updating all the USB A things, let's add some lights to these backpacks. Like LEDs are cheap and an oh, amazing okay. security yeah. feature. That was what I was daydreaming over as uh, I was watching your review. So I like that idea yeah. too. Yeah, no, that is good. I think this is a really, really uh, great backpack for 35 bucks. Um, the Every single ed added feature is something I'm like, yeah, I need in a backpack. I love the the strap uh, for your luggage. I, I have a yes. few backpacks that have it and a few that don't. And the ones that don't, when you want it, I get so frustrated that it wasn't built into <laughs> yeah, the design. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah. And um, and every everything else is uh, uh, looks great, and, and also all the compartments inside look uh, yeah, plentiful it's, it's, and organized. Yeah, and it's good looking too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like it a lot. I agree. I agree. P pretty perfect backpack for thirty five dollars. Dollars. Okay, with now, that, our headphone, Ooh. Uh, our our headband headphone. Ooh. Always on the lookout for an interesting gadget. I found a new uh, sleep band, okay, with built-in white noise. Oh. And something I've never, I've never seen in another sleep band, but is so important to falling asleep, disco lighting. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe ah, it when I saw what I need. this. And I'm thinking, well, on the outside... But it looks like there's disco lighting on the inside. So I thought, you know what, let me just get them. So we'll unbox it, and then I'll probably have to charge it. It's called Yon Tube. Uh, Yon Tune, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm a Yon Tuber, Tuner. Headphone. <laughs> Been making content for Yon Tune for years. Uh, all right. Hmm? Yeah. You know what? Where did the skull lights? It doesn't have it. I think you got misled. It does not have it. Well, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> I am totally disappointed. I'll charge it up and we'll talk about it. Okay, I've had some experience now with my Bluetooth sports headband, my Yon Tune. All right. Um, it's one of those button things. I have to look at look at the, the type on that. All the right. tiny type. So I have my magnifier. Uh, this is why you may not want one. There are four buttons on the headband's control panel. There are five ways to press each button. No. 
Click. <laughs> Double click. Oh my gosh. Short press for one second. Long press for two seconds. Or very long press for four seconds. No. Oh my please. god. Whoa. Oh I'm my trying god. to sleep. Please no. Actually, this could put you to sleep. Uh, a couple of interesting things is. The the speakers sound pretty decent, and they are very flat. I found I oh, that's could good. lay on my side. Actually, when you lay on your side, the sound even gets a little better because the speaker is flat against your ear. But it's not like I don't know if you can. It's it's they're very thin. Okay. Um, so the sound is better than I expected. The white noise being built in is interesting, except it repeats after about 90 seconds, which is no problem because white noise is just steady. But you hear a, a click or something no. every 90 seconds. Yeah. Uh-uh. Um, I don't know if that would be annoying or not. Yeah, it would be. Uh, I, I, I would There yeah. is white noise, water, which sounds like someone using a hose on the window. I didn't like that at all. With the birds, you don't notice that little click because I think there's little bits of none sound between the birds, and for some reason you don't hear that uh, click. Uh, I, you know, I don't know. Having the, some white noise built in is good. I don't know if that little pause will uh, bother you or not. There is no disco lighting. It didn't even come with a mirrored wall. I mean, I don't know. Oh, and the other thing to remember is, it, if you need total darkness, you should sleep in a pretty dark room because you can see a touch of light down here. It really doesn't cover your face. Let me just put it on again and see if I. Oh, and there is no. The speaker turned around. There is no head adjustment. Okay, so like if the speakers don't fall over your ears, for me they're pretty good. They are directly over my ears. There's no way to adjust it. And I see, definitely see a lot of light coming in through here. So if you need, uh, my, my bedroom is very dark when I turn off the waves and, and the, the overhead flashing stars. <laughs> so right down the middle for me, I looked at the receipt. Uh, it was deal of the day. So I think, I, I think it was almost half price. Well, I'm falling asleep without it. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, it was from the reviews that that's that's another stupid thing about it is it has a 30 minute and a 60 minute timer, and the copy said, and it automatically turns off. Except reviewer said, and it says goodbye. <laughs> so. Is that you're, right? you're slowly falling asleep yes, and yes. listening to the rain, and after 30 minutes, goodbye. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Dennis thinks he's figured it out why there are no disco speakers. Okay. Okay, go back to the photo. He thinks it was just a way to show that that's where the speakers are. Yeah, I think it is. I think I agree with Dennis. But why put it on the... Uh, 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 I, I, think, it, I think that, that you got got. I think that they were just uh, doing their, like, uh, it's like marketing. And... Uh, unless <laughs> it's possible, a lot of the reviews say that there is a blue light that keeps blinking. Oh. And I'm wondering if the artist said blinking blue light and things. Oh, it has disco lighting. <laughs> let me put let me put some lights on it. Uh, anyway, I'd I return was, this I, thing. I think I if I were you, uh, the just the white noise skip yes. alone, yeah, uh, is yeah. so annoying. Um, now also, Scooter X did find this. This is. Uh, With disco lights? Well, no, no disco lights. <laughs> oh, okay. But uh, the twenty-two dollars that it's available for. By the way, there's a ten percent off coupon, so you could get that basically for just for twenty. Um, was available on uh, Ali <laughs> Express. Oh, for ninety-nine cents. For a dollar, just a dollar. 
Look at those little thin speakers. Does it look like the same? Yes, yes. It's not well, as... Also, those buttons is freaking ridiculous. I hate those type of buttons. Five, I hate those type of buttons. Five functions per button while you have your eyes covered. No. I yeah. even, so even the cocoon, do you remember the cocoon uh, oh, wait earbuds? Oh, a minute, yes. Uh, Weren't they like totally flat? Uh, yeah. Was, um, wasn't at the selling point? And they were really, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're engineered, they were designed to be um, like as flat as possible. Oh, and then I, oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Apparently but Phillips bought them. They were expensive, weren't they? <laughs> I didn't realize Philips, the company, bought them. Yeah, they are expensive, $184. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I didn't realize that Philips, that's so hilarious. Um, either way, uh, this has probably been the best of the Bluetooth, uh, you know, an actual Bluetooth head set that is made for yeah. sleeping. Um, and even this had that exact same issue that you had. It only has three buttons on the top. Uh, there's a uh, volume up and down, and then one button, and that one button does the play, pause, forwards, you know, skip oh. if you want. It does all that, and then, and it's so annoying. It is so annoying. I wish that there were like obvious touch buttons. Like I wish that I could yes! like feel it with my fingers or. Uh, whatever. Even I was annoyed by even that expensive of a product. It, you know, it didn't have enough buttons uh, or dedicated uh, buttons. Yeah. Uh, from me. So um, yeah, it's 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 been it's been difficult. I have not been able to find the uh, the perfect Bluetooth. And it does need to be Bluetooth because even Bose had a headset option, but they. And they would play music and noise, but it had to be like, because of the battery life, they were like loaded onto the headset and it didn't have actual Bluetooth connectivity. It wasn't oh actually wirelessly playing the data. It would, you could choose from a few tracks on it. Um, so it does, oh, it does that, they, that they had put on. Yeah, that they not, had not, put not on. Your, yeah, oh, yeah so you'd use the app and you'd like choose your white noise that you oh, put load oh, onto the headphones. Um, but they weren't Bluetooth headphones, but they were okay. meant to, to be, you know, electronic things you stick in your ear and play electronic stuff, uh, into your ear, um, which is kind of cool, but yeah, even, even that, um, okay. Well, the sleep headphones, not good oh, from yeah, not good. Yon, what was it? Tune. Yon Tune. Yon Tune. That's what I was, Yon Tune. Uh, with that, let's move on to a crappier situation. No, you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okay, dokie, we are in the Crappy Corner. Uh, the theme this month, time. Time, uh, alarm, timers. I recorded a video earlier, so let's take a look. Oh. Hey Diggy D, so here we are with another time alarm clock gadget. Today we are taking a look, very easy to look at these, the eye clock. It's the gadget that looks back <laughs> even. Uh, so this is in fact a full clock. I wanted definitely one of the things, one of the gadgets that I covered to be a clock. I felt like it was needed if that was the theme. So I got the goofiest looking clock that I could. And honestly, I think I succeeded. Um, as you can tell, uh, you have two eyeballs uh, looking at you, but this will, oh my gosh, the eyes just fell out. Oh my, of what? The clock. Um, one eye should be the minutes and then another eye will be uh, the hours. So as you can kind of see, I'll, let me uh, put that together in, a, in just a moment. Um, but as we look through, see this would be 10.55. And then this right here would be six o'clock or 9.15. So this first one is, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then this side would be basically, you know, zero through 59. 
um, is how you would read the clock. So uh, it says easy installation. Let me actually go ahead and put it together and then uh, and put some uh, batteries in it. Those are the batteries uh, in the back, just two double A's and uh, set the time. Okay, so installed the batteries, uh, not too difficult. You also do have a little turn dial. So if you don't want to uh, basically just grab the eyes, you can also just kind of move them around. Uh, you could also grab this back here and it would rotate uh, which way the eye is pointing. So it is six. Uh, it, uh, Are there numbers on this, the clock? None. Six. Oh my 22 ish. Oh, wow. uh, and as we can see, oh, there we go. 624 uh, was the time that uh, we were aiming for. Uh, so, well, <laughs> now that looks like it is five. There we go. 624. Um, what's cool is there's no, uh, you know, no wires or anything. So we can just put this on the set. And uh, you can tell what time it is just by looking at the eyes. Uh, there is a small, tiny little notch inside of each eye if you want to get precise about it, even though that seems uh, pretty silly. And the only other thing to say is that there's, there's really no other feature. There's no alarm. There's nothing else. It's just the clock. So you go uh, 2488 on Amazon. What do you think? I, I have a feeling something is watching me. Oh, I mean, that's <laughs> as complicated as the one button that does five things. I also, yes, it is. And just, it's like, it's so hard to read. You just have to stare at it for yeah. a little while. I also cannot get it to tell proper time. Uh, it is impossible. Oh, I just <laughs> reset it to what I thought was 8, 20... Uh, what are we? Eight seventeen now, um, and so <laughs> somewhere around yeah. there, somehow I went past nine. And that's the thing: is this one's the hour, this is the minutes. So that's the other thing: is now it's seventeen. This should be if this is fifteen, it should be somewhere in between fifteen and thirty. It should be over here somewhere. Oh no! <laughs> I know. I don't know no. why it's not keeping time. I tried to. Also, I've tried multiple times to reset this, and maybe I have the hours and the minutes backwards. Like maybe, but on oh, the back, mate. it says minutes above. This is the 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 only engraving on the entire thing is just up above. Well, it's hard to tell. Oh, I forgot. I have a product shot now. Look at this. Let's see if we can make this happen. Here we go. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. There. See hour and minute. That is the only. Uh, it's quite difficult to s still it see. It is hard to see. But, uh, but, th but it's there. Um, that's the only printing. There's no, there's no, you know, 12, 1 through 12 or anything like that. That's, uh, that's it. And you can tell this is the bottom just from the, the base yeah. of it. But yeah, there you go. It looks like a cement brick from the back. <laughs> it kind of does. Doesn't it? It kind of does. Those building cement things. Yeah. Uh, they're made out of, co they're quartz. Uh, clocks though, that's, that's, that's kind of nice. Um, maybe one day it'll tell proper time, but, uh... Oh my gosh. There you go. I do feel like it could, it could be less expensive, honestly. Uh, it coming in at $24, um, I feel, I feel like it could be 12 Oh, look, there oh, it is yeah. for... for Oh my gosh, it is $14. <sighs> this was the other clock, by the way, that was on my radar. As uh, I wanted to only do one clock this month, so this was the other one. Oh, it at is least that one you have a chance at knowing what time it is. <laughs> the thing that made me feel like this was so trashy was that the, the plug is visible from the edge. Oh, like, that, oh, that's a see that See the AC plug over here on yeah. the edge of it? That just seems... They did a oh, really man. good job of hiding it in a lot of their photos. Oh, there it is again. <laughs> oh, the that is stupid. Cord, the AC cord there is just making me laugh so much. Anyway, uh, so back to, um, yeah, the uh, Big Eyes Clock. Uh, now, Scooter X did find it uh, for a lot less expensive, $10.04. Uh, 
over on AliExpress. It has all four of the finishes too. On Amazon, it has those same finishes. So if you don't like it in white, you can get it in black. Oop, I'm trying to click my screen here. Uh, you can get it in black or you can get it in brown, which has a little bit of a wood, almost bamboo uh, texture. And then there is a, uh, it's just called wood color. They got wood color, brown, black. Uh, okay. Wait, <laughs> this is coffee color. I thought that was black. Apparently it's a very dark brown. I was, wait, is, oh no, mine's just white. Apparently the mm. only one that doesn't have a texture is this white one. Anyway, uh, so. Does it come with a device to tell you what time it is? No. It's supposed to be the device that tells you the time, but it's really oh, bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, trying to time a three minute egg, uh, I think it's gonna be difficult. Gonna be difficult. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, uh, oh, it's half past pupil. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I no. thought the eyes were going to, I thought it was a clock and the <laughs> eyes were going to go like this constantly. And then somewhere it would tell you what the time. That is way too useful, Dickie D. No, <laughs> this is the crappy corner. It oh, has yeah. one job and it does it yeah. really badly. Really, <laughs> really badly. And on it top does. Of, on it top does. of all that, it cost me $25. I could have gotten it for 10 if I would have waited a month. Oh my God. Uh, oh so there you go. Uh, if you want to find it online, um, apparently it's a great Valentine's Day gift, just in case you were wondering. Uh, there you go. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. Oh. All right, our video is from Mo, and he said, Dick, did you did you ever show this? And I didn't. It, it's from the past, but it's so fascinating. I think there's a lesson to be learned, <laughs> and it's kind of fun when you find something that's really a bargain so oh, take yeah. a peek okay <laughs> hey Whoa. guys love the show please keep up the great work just yeah, want to is... do a real quick video and make this one's going to be pretty quick this is a 16 terabyte ssd external solid state hard drive that i purchased from amazon yeah and this is going to be a do not buy do oh. not buy this drive when you <laughs> see it this is the actual website now that's strange because I checked it this morning. It was $69 for a 16 terabyte external hard drive. Uh, speeds up to 1,000 megabytes per second. And guess what? It's not true. None of it is true. Now, I found it odd that, and Chad would, I'm sure, will agree with me. 16 terabyte hard drive for Big. $99 Huge. is a great price. This yeah. morning it was $69.99. Yeah, being a solid um, state I, and now drive it's the afternoon yeah. and it's back up to $99. I thought, you know what, let me try it. A lot of people, as you can see in the comments, did not believe it, said this must be some kind of scam. Well, I don't, it's kind of a scam, I'm gonna say, because of the fact that it, it read 16 terabytes, uh, and it showed that it was a 16 terabyte drive under my computer on the Windows. But the problem I had was that I was copying over a file that was about 300 gigs in size. And after 12 hours, it was only halfway done. It is slow. I did a Blackmagic speed test and the speed test averaged about 15 megabyte read and write, which Whoa. is slow for an SSD. That's even slow for a spinning hard drive. This is a do not buy. Yeah. Um, after copying everything to the drive, well, I actually didn't, never got it done. Uh, it uh, crashed on me and I had to unplug it and plug it back in. And when I checked the file that I was copying files to, all the files I copied were gone. I was unable to format this drive. It gives me an error when I try to format it. Uh, I, I, there's nothing you can do with this drive. It stays at what's called EX fat. And that's not, that's not a problem, that type of format. But 
I can't even format it to NTFS. I can't do anything with this. Yes, um, and it, Like I said, I spent over 12 hours copying things to this drive, and it crashed within those, you know, after the 12 hours, and all the information I copied to drive, all the information I copied to this drive disappeared. So this is a do not buy, do not buy, do not bother. It's very light. It feels like a... Like you're holding a piece of paper. That's how light it is. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. I'm just passing along this information to you guys and the chat room and all the fans of the Gizwiz. Bye now. <laughs> that, is, that is good information to have. Uh, I've had a similar-ish experience with a memory card as I, as I bought an inexpensive memory card that was 512 gigabytes. Yeah. And it... You know, I'd stick it into the camera, I'd stick it into a computer, and it would show. Oh. Yeah, it's 512 uh, gigabytes. But that same sort of read error, where it was such a slow 512, that uh, it was impossible to use. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I just, I just kind of was just, <laughs> this is a bad, this is a bad one. Bad SD card. Um... Yeah, I would. I'd be so suspicious of uh, of that, and um, yeah, probably be like time to unplug it as fast as possible. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, it is gone off Amazon, so you good. don't have to worry. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Uh, Scooter X was sharing uh, this article from uh, August eighth, and uh, kind of puts a bit into play. I Sandisk announces world's first. 16 terabyte oh, 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 how interesting. external SSD. And what's that going to cost from SanDisk? Probably, let's see. No, 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 no. Reading through, hundreds, scanning. Hundreds, like high oh, hundreds. Oh, scanning, right? scanning, scanning. External SSD. Doesn't say even when it'll arrive. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah, 16 terabytes wow. is a lot. For a solid a state lot drive. of memory, yeah, a lot, a lot of memory. Thanks, Mo, for doing the investigative research. Uh, yeah, be, beware, beware, and especially when it comes to uh, data. Um, Absolutely, yeah. Like I definitely, uh, I mean, I'm. You saw my, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Saw the uh, studio tour. I own a lot of hard drives. And uh, yeah, yeah, I typically I the whole drawer. Yeah. <laughs> have a huge drawer. I try, I try to buy from a brand that I can immediately recognize. If it's you know SanDisk, Western Digital, uh, Corsair, uh, who else makes hard drives? Uh, Kingston. Uh, Kingston, exactly. Um, I typically care about that when it comes to hard drives. Um, and then, and and <laughs> so far I've been. I've been pretty lucky. I've only had like two hard drive failures um, in my life, and those are annoying. Um, so that's good. Thanks, Mo, for the uh, for the warehouse. With that, let's move into Dick's gadget letter. <laughs> yes, the gadget letter. I surprised uh, myself, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, our email is from uh, a firm we connected at the Holiday Gift Guide Show. I wanted to share more info on Ototo, a design studio behind fun and attention-grabbing home and kitchen gadgets. Now, since you love so many of those silly things we showed in the past, yeah. I just thought I would show you their Amazon page. These are not, these are more fun to look at than, for example, the scissors. Look at the scissors. I know, they're bats. They're, yeah, the bat scissors. Oh my gosh. They're, they're very, cool. they're, they're really cool. And I would love to work for a company like this. Just, yeah, I feel like anything is possible, you know? Oh, yeah, I, that's interesting. <laughs> yes. Yes, we need to make yes. some cool scissors. What should we do? Okay, here's the We got bats. Okay, what else is cool? Penguins. Those are neat. Uh, giraffe. Giraffe scissors. I don't know how you're going to make them, but I'm sure they'd be popular. You know, like that just sounds, you could, anything is, it, it, you know, it doesn't matter. Throw it against the wall, yes. you'll make a, a product of it. 
And, and and they gave me a copy. Oh, go you go go down. That's good. I like yeah. I, this is very clever. The refrigerator odor cleaner Absorber. thing is, is like a little refrigerator. <laughs> you put baking soda, bake baking um Probably. Was Arm and Hammer yeah. in there? And yes, then, yes, exactly, exactly. And then, uh, oh wow, this is like a little dog that scoops up That's hair. That's a doggy brush. That's great. The Dracula wine stopper. Oh my gosh, you know what? I think I may have one of their ladles. Maybe that, maybe that looks so similar to a different ladle that I used to own. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's, it, they make very cute things. <laughs> this is adorable. I love that. The, the alligator, uh, gall yeah. The kitty cat the gall pizza cutter wheel, <laughs> where the the mouse will run around. Oh, in that's circles so funny! As uh, as you're, you're oh, cutting that, up oh, the that's, pizza. Oh, that's that's very clever. Yeah, I like how the very tail is a little clever. hook. If you're gonna yeah. like uh, hook it onto stuff. Yeah, these are fun. Anyway, if you're looking for gift ideas, it, it, it's a this, it's very fun. I owned this. This, is, in fact, was, I think, a gift. You do from, own that? Yes. Yeah, so this was a gift from my parents, the Nessie. Um, oh, my gosh. And it was kind of fun because if he's in a pot of soup, just his little head pokes out. <laughs> if you just rest him on the bottom there. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen, I have seen this uh, company before, and they just make... Uh, oh, you have? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I, I must have, but... Um, yeah, I love I love their little their fun little. Oh, design. look at that thing! <laughs> I know what is that? What is that? <laughs> it's like a it's like a opener? parakeet, like a it's a it's a party bird. I don't know. A I guess what the uh, the <clears throat> oh the wings that have pulled the clock out. <laughs> yeah, it scared me. It was like a, ah, let's turn this down. Um, yeah, that was just like a little uh, wine opener where as it opens. The wings unfurl. The like silicone wings yeah. will oh, like yeah. open up. It's very funny stuff. Yeah. Very cute stuff. Yeah. Super cute. And you oh, did you did you get something you were saying? Yeah, they gave me a they gave me two things. They gave me a uh, a beardy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he looks a like beardy. a gnome. Yes, doesn't it? But the uh, the bristles of the uh, brush are like its yeah. beard. But you know, I got almost the same thing you did, but yours is a ladle. Oh, but yeah. this is this is to make tea. It's a what tea infuser. It? A tea infuser. Yeah, That's also Nessie. Oh, that is so funny. Isn't that cute? <laughs> that is great. Oh, I'm telling you, this is. They they have figured out how to produce silicone products and they will just not stop. And they're yeah. adorable and fun. I like it. No, it's great. It's great fun. Uh, once again, the company was uh, Oto 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 is uh, what you search for. Absolutely. Uh, with that, I want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Uh, there was some recent Patreon update I just noticed about, like, the Patreon, the app, and, like, if you pay per episode in the app, it may cut you off. So if you're in the app, you may want to go to the website and uh, update things. Other than that, don't worry about it. I would just want to say a big thank you to our patron uh, members who support us every single episode. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, if you like the Gizwiz, please consider giving back. Patreon.com slash Gizwiz, or you can head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv. And at the top of the website, there is a Patreon tab. When you click that, there's a big old banner that'll take you to our Patreon page or a tiny little link that'll take you to our PayPal page. However you donate, we just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Head on over to gizwiz.tv and that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Just head to the website and the website will update with the live stream. There is a schedule change coming up, so please check the top of the website. Uh, for that change, instead of on the 22nd, we will be recording on the 23rd. So uh, don't watch us on that's Thursday. Just, uh, that's next week, right? That is. I, yeah. Is that? 
How many weeks? Yeah. There's a lot of weeks this month. I, I keep forgetting. <laughs> There's five Thursdays this month. Yeah, so, so I believe it's next week. So yes. next Friday we do the show. Next Friday we will be doing the show. So uh, keep that in mind if you're going to watch the live show. If you don't watch the live show, don't worry. All of our episodes are there on, after the fact on our website, gizwiz.tv. Also, while you're on the internet, why not head on over to Dickie D's website, gizwiz.biz. There, Dickie D writes articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on the show. Or, if we're doing episode 2000, look, look a little, a little look, look, see back at uh, the fun times that we had uh, on that episode. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? The game show online where you got to guess the Gadget, this is the entire gadget, not just a piece or a part of the gadget. And you got to guess what that is. Uh, and you'll is... be playing for. Oh, we Probably get to see. The first look at October Mad. Oh, the Aliens. Uh, Alien Edition. Alien Edition. Ooh. Um, so you're oh playing for gosh. October Mad. Fun. I just, uh, I finally went through and was able to get my uh, my Taylor one out of... Uh, oh! Yeah, I, 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 and then I want to put this one up, because this one's important. I got to put it next to the Taylor signed CD. Oh my here. God, yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, so that, was a, that was a great one. Uh, so, play along, gizwiz.biz. Uh, there are six of those Mad Magazines for correct answers, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guessing. Uh, mine, you know, I like to just uh, every week I just give it away, uh, and I just tell people uh, what I think uh, it is. And this is obviously the uh, straw. It's a it's a, it's for those straws that just get away from you. You can just now glue the straw to the inside of your cup. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'll just okay. hold that straw there. I'm just tired of, I'm tired of doing this. Oh, okay. I'm trying okay. to find my straw. Okay. Just glue it to the okay. inside. Okay. Uh, if you, if you, anyway, and I mentioned all the other stuff. So get a guessing at gizwiz.biz. Uh, that's it. That wraps it up for our episode. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>